Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand how to create vouchers with batchwise details of stock items. Maintaining batches for stock items enables you to handle the sales and purchase of perishable goods. You can also maintain the stock items that are required to be maintained as per their manufacturing and expiry dates. Moreover, if you have stock items that undergo rate changes, maintaining in batches allows you to identify their rates and record vouchers easily. In addition to that, batches ensure a quality control in your business as you get to know the manufacturing and expiry dates of the stock items, especially for perishable goods. You will learn the process to set up Tally Prime to maintain the stock items with batch-wise details. Moreover, you will know how to record vouchers with batches with or without manufacturing and expiry dates as per your business requirement. Tally Prime also provides you with reports where you can view the details of the batches for stock items. Let's first see how to enable batches under F11 company features. Press F11, show more features and then enable batches. Once you enable the feature, you can maintain stock items with batch-wise details. Now, let's see how you can create or alter stock items with batch-wise details. Press Alt plus G. Create master stock item and press enter. Press F12 and ensure that maintain stock items in batches is set to yes. By default, this option gets enabled immediately after you enable batches under F11 company features. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configuration. In the stock item creation screen, enable maintain in batches. Now, enter the opening balance quantity and press enter. The allocation screen appears in which you can enter the batch number or name along with the corresponding quantities and rates. As you can see, when you enter the quantity of the first batch, the remainder of the quantity gets allocated to the next batch. You can keep changing the quantity until the total opening balance quantity is allocated to the appropriate batches. Press Ctrl plus A to save the allocation screen. You can say that the rate is the average value of the rates entered for each batch. Now, press Ctrl plus A to save the stock item. Now, let's see how to record a voucher for the sale of stock items maintained in batches without manufacturing and expiry dates. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher and press F8 for sales. Select the party and press enter. Now, select the sales ledger and press enter. Let's select the stock item without the manufacturing and expiry dates and press enter. In the item allocation screen, select the batch from which you want to sell the stock item. Say, you want to sell it from the first batch. Select the batch and press enter. Now, enter the quantity. If the quantity exceeds the stock available in the batch, then you get a warning message. Consider that the quantity is within the stock available in the batch and enter it accordingly. Enter the rate. Select more batches if you want to sell more stock items and then press Ctrl plus A to save the item allocation screen. You can see that the total quantity, rate and amount get updated in the voucher. Press enter on the total amount and specify the bill wise details if applicable. Enter the narration if needed and press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher. Let's view the batch summary report. Press Alt plus G, type or select batch summary and press enter. Select the stock item and batch and press enter. You can see the quantity, rate and value of the stock item in all the batches. You can also check the stock summary report. Press Alt plus G, type or select stock summary and press enter. Press Shift plus enter on the required stock item row. You can see the batch related details. 
Now, let's see how to add patches and stock items along with the manufacturing and expiry dates. For perishable goods such as food products and medicines, you will need to enter the manufacturing and expiry dates so that you do not end up using or selling the stock item beyond the expiry date. Press F11 and enable maintain expiry date for batches under enable batches. Press Ctrl plus A to save. Now, press Alt plus G. Create master stock item and press enter. In the stock item creation screen, enable maintain in batches. Enable track date of manufacturing and use expiry dates. Now, enter the opening balance quantity and press enter. As you can see in the allocation screen, you can also enter the manufacturing date and expiry date along with the quantity and rate for each batch. Press Ctrl plus A to save the allocation screen. Now, press Ctrl plus A to save the stock item. Now, let's see how to record a voucher for stock item with manufacturing and expiry dates. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher and press F8 for sales. Select the party and press enter. Now, select the sales ledger and press enter. Let's select the stock item with the manufacturing and expiry dates and press enter. In the item allocation screen, select the batch from which you want to sell the stock item. You can see the manufacturing and expiry dates. If the voucher date is beyond the expiry date, then Tally Prime does not show the batch. Select a different batch. Now, enter the quantity and rate. Select more batches if you want to sell more stock items and then press Ctrl plus A to save the item allocation screen. You can see that the total quantity, rate and amount get updated in the voucher. Press enter on the total amount and specify the bill wise details if applicable. Press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher. Let's view the batch summary report. Press Alt plus G. Type or select batch summary and press enter. Select the stock item and batch and press enter. Press F12 and enable show manufacturing date and show expiry date of batches. Let's also enable show number of days for expiry. These options appear only for the stock items with manufacturing and expiry dates. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configurations. You can see the manufacturing date, expiry date and the number of days till expiry. You can also check the stock summary report. Press Alt plus G, type or select stock summary and press enter. Press Shift plus Enter on the required stock item row. You can see the batch related details. Now, let's see how to use stock items from batches with zero quantity. You might have purchased some quantity of stock items that belongs to a batch. In such cases, you can create a purchase voucher with stock items that get added to the batch. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher and press F9 for purchase. In case you haven't updated the quantity in a batch and you want to use it, press F12 and enable show batches with zero quantity. Press Ctrl plus A to save. Specify the necessary details in the voucher. You can see the batches with zero quantity in the item allocation screen. Once all the necessary details are specified, press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher. Now let's see, during voucher creation, how you can use stock items from batches that have exceeded the expiry dates. Consider that your supplier had supplied a consignment. However, the batch has exceeded the expiry date. In such a case, to return the stock items to the supplier, you will need to record a debit note and use the stock items from an expired batch. Press Alt plus G. Create voucher. And press Alt plus F5 for debit note. Press F12 and enable use expired batches for stock items. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configuration. 
select the party and ledger account. Enter other details. Select the stock item and select an expired batch in the item allocation screen. Select the batch and enter other details. Press Ctrl plus A to save the item allocation screen. Press Enter on the total amount and specify the bill wise details if applicable. Press Ctrl plus A to save the voucher. Now that you know how to record vouchers with batches for stock items, let's see how to disable batches. Consider that there is no balance in a few stock items or you have stopped maintaining stocks for it. In such cases, you can easily disable the batches for the stock item. Press Alt plus G. Alter Master. Stock Item. Select the stock item. And press Enter. Set Maintain in Batches as No. Press Ctrl plus A to save the stock item. Henceforth, you will not be able to allocate batches for this stock item during voucher creation until you choose to maintain the stock items in batches again. As you saw, in Tally Prime, you can easily enable batches for your stock items and record vouchers with stock items along with their batch details. For stock items with manufacturing and expiry dates, you can record vouchers for the batches that are well within the expiry date, thereby instilling a mechanism of quality control in your business. What's more, you can also use the expired batches while creating vouchers, if needed. And if you want to stop maintaining a stock item in batches, you can always disable batches for the stock item. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.